Hello everyone, welcome back to the Ajax video series. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can Ajaxify an application that is the ASP.NET web application. But before I do, let me just show you how an application looks like if it is not having the Ajax technology. So let me quickly go to the form that is this form. This is just a I have named this one as my Ajax page, but this is not yet having the Ajax technology. So I'm going to quickly fill in the details. Let's say the name and I will say New York. Yes, it is indeed a good place. I will hit on the OK button and there is a refresh that is taking place or the post back and now it comes back to us with the details saying hello said New York is a lovely place. Yes, it is. Now the thing is that you saw a post back that is that took place and then there was a little flickering because the data was sent back to the server and all those activities took place. So if I hit on the button again and again, you can see that there is a, a status that we get saying that waiting for the local host or the server and there is a post back that is taking place and this is sometimes time consuming and it is it doesn't look very good to the users. But Ajax is the solution to this. It can solve this flickering problem. So let me show you how we can Ajaxify this application. Now what we have here is this is the uh, design view and this is the HTML view. Now what I'm going to do is that I will cut and save this details in my clipboard. I will hit Control X and I will get that in my clipboard. Now as I look on my left hand side I have a tab that says Ajax extension. Now if I look at the update panel what update panel is what it does is whatever we put inside the update panel that portion of the web page becomes Ajaxified. So I'm going to drag it onto my HTML view and inside the update panel I can paste all that but but it will not work. What we need to do is that inside the update panel we have something called content template. Okay. Inside the content template you should place all those things which is there in the in your clipboard. Make sure you include the content template because if you do not you will get an error. Okay, now I will hit Control V because that's what we were having in the clipboard. And now we should get this thing. Now all these things is inside the update panel that is the Ajax uh, uh, tag. Okay, now I will hit the save button and if I go back to my page. Okay, now we will get an error here because we did not include the script manager. And how do we include the script manager? We do that by dragging this thing above the update panel tag. Actually I did that intentionally just to show you how important the script manager is. So I will click and drag this one above the update panel. It is right here. Now if I save this one and go back to my page and hit enter and we will get our page. Now I will write let's say and I will hit on the OK button and voila with the, within a fraction of a second you saw the results came right back all because of the Ajax and if I let's say my test name OK and I will write and hit, hit on the OK button and it changed, it changed immediately without any refreshing or without any any post back of any sort See, there is a activity that is happening, but we don't, we don't, we don't see that. All because of the Ajax technology. Now, there is one problem, however, to this, and what the problem is, and how we can solve this one. There is a problem. Yes, you might be thinking that well, what, what kind of a problem Ajax page have? Well, Ajax is having one problem with this one. Okay, I hope you can see that if I write something here and hit, hit on the OK button it the change happened immediately but there is one problem to this one and how 
to solve that problem and what the problem exactly is I'm going to show that to you in my next video so do join me in my next video where I will show you what that problem with Ajax is and how to fix that problem so thank you very much for watching this video do join me in my next upcoming Ajax series video thank you